uh-huh. talk about this yesterday. I want you to bring it back up. Well, we talked we about. We saw the video of him talking about. We it. talked about the color purple yesterday. Mm-hmm. And dude is wearing purple. AMC Theater apologizes after a civil rights leader says he was kicked out of a North Carolina movie. Oh, theater. they actually apologized. Because I saw the video of when he first got kicked out. Okay. Go ahead. Um, a civil rights leader says he was kicked out of North Carolina movie theater while attempting to see the color purple for trying to use his own chair <laughs> in the disabled section. Yeah. Yeah. Bishop William Barber, 60, said he tried to use the special chair he brought in the disabled section of the Greenville Theater on Tuesday afternoon and was told by the staff he couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Now, the former NAACP North Carolina chapter president told CNN he has a medical condition Mm -hmm. that makes it impossible to sit in a regular chair. He said he walks with two canes and his assistant carries a special chair everywhere he goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the video of the incident shared by Barbara with CNN, the chair appears to be a stool type chair with a backrest and no arms. Barbara has a form of arthritis known as whatever this is, Mm -hmm. which causes inflammation in the joints and his ligaments and his spine, according to the National Institute of Health. Mm -hmm. I've used this chair everywhere, Barbara said. Mm -hmm. Broadway, Mm -hmm. the White House. He went out the country with it. I've never had a problem. Never had a problem. The Greenville Police Department confirmed officers arrived at the AMC Fire Tower 12 after receiving a call for trespassing. Officer said the caller stated a customer was arguing with employees and the employees wanted the customer removed. After a conversation with Barbara, he agreed to leave the theater voluntarily and no charges were filed, according to the Greenville police statement. I felt like I wasn't being heard, Barbara said. It felt as though they weren't even trying to consider making accommodations for my disability. Mm -hmm. AMC representatives said in a statement obtained by CNN affiliate that they have apologized to Barbara. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So the AMC guy chairman, he said it was a new, it must be a new president or new manager there. Well, the AMC chairman and CEO, Adam Aaron called, telephoned him Mm -hmm. and plans to meet him in person Mm -hmm. in Greenville, North Carolina next week to discuss both this situation and good works that Bishop Barber is engaged throughout the years. In other words, they're going to give him some money. Um, The statement reads, we are also reviewing our policies with our theater teams to help ensure that this situations like this do not occur again. Because he mentioned in his video, if I'm not, if I remember, he's gone there before and he thinks he knows that there's a new manager there. So it was a power thing, he, in, in my opinion. Now, mm-hmm. He didn't say that, but it was. It seemed like they 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 wanted to put him in check because he's never had problems with that chair. He's given reasons. He says that I'm I have the arthritis. He said I can't sit real low, mm-hmm. so he can't sit in the in the uh, movie theater chairs. So he brings his on his own, and he's never had any problems. <laughs> and I really, if you think about it, as the size that he is. Mm-hmm. You would think, okay, sir, no problem. He said, do you mind just having it on the side here so it because it's tall? I don't want you blocking anyone or whatever reason, but still accommodate him. Now, here's my question. You don't always have to play devil's advocate. Go ahead. What if I wanted to bring my lazy boy? They wouldn't even let you in the door <laughs> with that. <laughs> we go through the front area. That guy that gets our ticket, you know he's going to say something. What if I can push it through? I have they it on a little roller thing. Mm-hmm. Now. I agree with his, this statement. His chair is kind of is thin, though. No. I agree with this statement. AMC suggests encourages okay. if you have special accommodations special needs or, or special needs, just speak to the manager before you do it. Right. So let's say I did want to bring my lazy boy in there, and somebody says you can't do that. What if I called ahead and said, "Excuse me." I have a lazy boy that I like to bring. Unless Hold on before you cut me off, manager. Can I tell you why I like to bring this to see the color? You purple? sound like that commercial. There's <laughs> a commercial where that guy took that chair everywhere. Hold on. Sir, they was being funny. Before you, before you, my mother passed away in this chair two days ago, and we had bought tickets to come see the color purple. And I want her to be here in spirit. 
This is the chair that she passed away. <laughs> now, if we could just put it to the side and it doesn't bother anybody, is there a problem with that? Yes, sir, it will be a problem because the size of the chair will be a problem to get it in. No, and some about the handicap section. No, if there's some the handicap section, we, we're, we're not allowed for you. If you're going to bring a, a special chair, it needs to be a certain size. You're like bringing another lazy boy in. We got sir, lazy boy sir, chairs. I've been you're to that thing, sir. <laughs> I've been to that theater a hundred times. You need to show me a doctor. There is slip. a side. Oh, sir, my mother. No. Sir, I've been to that theater a hundred times. No. There is a section on the side <laughs> that has a little cubby section in it. <laughs> I've already figured it out, sir. You know? Sir, <laughs> what would you tell them? If it's a little cubby section and it's already in. I'm not going to let nobody bring in no lazy boy chair. If my mother passed now, if it's a special needs chair, and he has to be, a, 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 what is the word when you have to be in it? Like, like there's chairs where it's part of them. Okay, where what they if, can move and stuff? Okay, what that's if, a special. What chair. if it's a chair? But but not the <laughs> What if it's a chair that's similar to that? <laughs> and I have to, <laughs> I have to sit in it because of the way that my body. Well, I can't more sit than in likely it. to probably have wheels or motorized. Yes. So yeah, if it's. And it I've been be in that really theater. A special kind of chair. You're right. And I've been in that theater, and it's a cubby section on the side. Right. And some sections is real wide. It won't even be in anybody's way. We'll wait till everybody gets in, and we'll wait till everybody but leaves. No, you really got to have. But I'm saying talk to him first. I mean, that's a hard. Yeah, I see. I thought he did, though. No, been, that's what they're saying. They talk said to he'd him. been to the theater before. He probably never had to talk to he nobody. He said that's a new manager. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So No, he the, said he probably would never think had I to, need to go talk again if I've already been. If this is in his neighborhood. Now, this is the people like you. Okay. <laughs> what? People who bring in food from outside. Oh, yeah. Ma'am. Why are you telling our business? They may Ma be watching our show. Ma'am. They're going to be at the door and they're going to say, y'all said on the Woods Report that y'all bringing y'all own now food. Now you sitting there eating your uh, gummy bears. Yeah, my candy and stuff. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, excuse me. Put ma those away. No, you're not supposed to bring in any outside um, food. So they'll probably say put it away. And you know what you'll say? I've done this forever. Nobody said anything. You'll do what he did with that chair. No, I wouldn't. No one has ever said anything. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. That wouldn't be the law. That wouldn't be the the comment I would make for that one. Because you know you're not supposed to bring in your own food, so I can't do nothing, ma'am. I just say, okay, I'll put it up, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. I have a question for you, uh -huh. ma'am. Uh -huh. You're not supposed to get one giant Pepsi and fill and fill courtesy cups <laughs> up. Well, she ain't telling our business. That's what we do. Ma'am. Some people have gone to the movie theaters with us and they laugh. They go, ma'am. What ma y'all doing? Ma'am. Courtesy cups are for water. <laughs> Not to fill uh -uh. up. Courtesy cups can be my large drink that I want to share with my family. No, they're not, Lenore. Yeah. Ma'am. There's no. Lenore, the, you cannot take uh -uh. courtesy cups. Uh -uh. I've even told the girl when she gives them to me, I said, I can do this with my soda. She said, yes. The big giant soda you get, you got kids. Here you go, son. Here you go, daughter. Yeah, but you don't fill it back up. It's again. not for just water. All right, I get what you're saying, but that one, no, ma'am. Bringing your own food in, yes, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> bringing your own candy, your dang theaters cost a lot. You almost got to bring your own stuff. So and what, and what we I used to do, you didn't used to do. What? Well, you go to a movie and then I go to another movie. Oh yeah, yeah, you did that, ma'am. Weren't you just in the color purple? <laughs> yeah. Uh, There's nobody in here. It's literally nobody in here. How am I if, if it, I was taking up a spot, if it was a lot of people in here, I can see what you're saying. Money. They losing money. The, the thing is gonna play. That's just whether I'm sitting here or not. That's just as bad as me going to a all you can eat buffet, breakfast and lunch. And we stay there from breakfast to lunch, ma'am. And go back in the line ma ma and get our lunch now, ma'am. Ma'am, you didn't pay for the lunch. You came in for the bus, Bre the breakfast, breakfast buffet. <laughs> Don't stay to four o'clock. <laughs> you doing lunch and dinner in college in a buffet, and you getting five pieces of chicken. 
get and you get one to your friend that's not eating a buffet, ma'am. ma'am it's all you can, you can eat. eat, ma'am. Not all your friends, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am. When you asked for those napkins, you didn't say you was going to wrap up chicken and take it home. It's a buffet, ma'am. It's, and it's all you can eat, not you and your friends. <laughs> I remember that was in college. We was hungry, y'all. Ma'am. We were in college. We had no money. I'm talking about not college now. <laughs> no, I haven't done it. Now. No, no, I'm saying, ma'am, you don't wrap up chicken, ma'am. Well, you want to take a piece home because you didn't want to. It's food. a buffet for here, ma'am. Not <laughs> not for you to have chicken to later on later. tonight. Okay. Uh, she telling our business. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing Tupperware. <laughs> Now that's just ridiculous. <laughs> At least wrapping it up in a napkin. You, you have glad, something to pour. But to wrap it up in a take a bring a, a aluminum foil. Y'all just tap that mac and cheese is good, girl. Here. <laughs> so I agree. I but think I he should have. But talked. I think he did. He said it in his video that he got. No, no, he should have. Even if you've done it, you talk to them before and say, "I'm bringing oh, it in so a chair." Each time he comes, right. then. Okay, All right, just to clear. Um, Justice says. The police officer should realize that this was an ADA violation and not kicked him out. Shame, shame, shame. 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 You right, Justice. Shame. Shame. He has two um, uh, sticks that he walks with. And you think the chair is not a lazy boy chair. It's not a love seat. The chair ain't going to kill nobody. He has to sit high because of the arthritis. But you're right. You're right. Police officers could have. Isn't that their jobs? What is the word that that word they're supposed to de-escalate or whatever? De-escalate. Yes. I would have told the managers, can he just let let's him just sit here, sir? He's he's he, apparently you can see he's not faking. Right. Oh. Um, Emerald says hi, ladies. Hey, Emerald. And um, she said hi to everybody. Okay. Shame. 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 He was one of the speakers at uh, Shame. Uh, one of our local events last year. Oh, he is. He was one of the speakers. Yep. Oh, somebody should have said something about him not having his chair. Yep. <laughs> he didn't have that chair. Then. No, he. It was virtual. Oh, I was going to say. It was a virtual event. You oh. had to remind me. It was, oh, I was going to say. You had to remind me that it was virtual. Where was that chair? Yeah, he was in his office. All right. Or a church somewhere. You clean that up. Because I was getting ready to say he didn't have a special chair. Yeah. He was, I think they had a video. He sent in his video of himself. All right. All right. Go ahead. All right, y'all. He's so, a good speaker. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I agree. I agree right. that they should apologize. But I also think that um, going forward. You shouldn't just assume that the rules is that the, that you be can just do it. You. And if you do not want, don't want to say nothing, like if you bring in the gummy bears in and all that, don't be mad if somebody comes tap you on your shoulder. Yeah, ma'am, ma'am. Because there's a lot of places you go to. They've taken my water. Oh, they, they always they do that. Can't, they shouldn't do that. If you got a, a medical reason for having your water with you, like if you got a jug and you got to drink water. Because your mouth gets dry or you got to take medicines or something. I don't like when they do that. Right. And your water's not going to spill in a jug. All right. Go ahead. Um, Biden. What did he do? 